Welcome to our latest video roundup. My name's Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through the week's best science videos. Now, have you ever been hit on by someone but not been able to tell whether it was a male or a female? If so, you may have been to Bangkok, but pity the poor fruit fly, they find it even more confusing. Sandrine Kirstenmon tells us how switching a gene on or off can make males and females change their tune. A male usually makes his courtship call when the female is close by. A gene called fruitless triggers thousands of brain and nerve cells, telling him it's time to make a move. When researchers turned off the gene, the male sang even though there were no females around. A decapitated male fly would croon constantly as there were no brain signals telling him to stop. When the same gene was switched on in the female, she sang like a guy who was a bit out of tune. The researchers recorded the song to test it on the female enclosed with a mute, wingless fly. Usually this male would have trouble mating, but the female responded enthusiastically to the recording. The researchers think flies have a master gender switch made up of a few brain cells that triggers either male or female behavior. Next up we have some amazing 3D images of an ancient horseshoe crab. An old method called physical optical tomography can still be the best way to study some specimens. It involves exposing the fossil and scraping off sections with a grinding machine or abrasive powder, then photographing the resulting cross sections. This video shows a series of slices from the fossil of a tiny arthropod, a distant relative of spiders and scorpions that lived 425 million years ago. Using this data, a computer reconstruction of the animal was created. These types of virtual models can then be manipulated and dissected and have become a great tool for exploring fossils. OK, so that was a look at the distant past. Now let's fast forward to present day robotics. The MIT Media Lab has created an experimental robot called Nexi that has very human facial expressions. In fact, she's so human, she can speak for herself. I can tell you that I'm sad, mad, confused, excited, or even bored just by moving my face. Nexi's hands can manipulate objects and she has video cameras for eyes and microphones for ears. She can track voices and objects in real time using lasers and a 3D infrared camera. This type of robot is capable of sophisticated interactions with humans and could be useful for working in dangerous environments. That's all for now, but for more science and technology news, visit newscientist.com or buy the magazine. Bye for now.